bon dia. Munson here with the Try Something Portuguese. It's a Saturday, and this one won't wait until the week. I bought it yesterday at the wonderful, look at this, um, my favorite bakery in Caldas de Arena, Forno do Beco. And I was in there buying some of their Pau de Forma, which is a bit special, I've got to tell you, and one of the best pastel donatas I've ever had, which I stole off the boy, uh, my youngest son. Um, but I, my eye was caught by what's in this bag at Forno do Beco. Um, I pointed to a lovely box uh, in, in, in with beautiful graphics uh, that said um, it contained or seemed to contain the pastel bordalo. Started talking to the lady in the shop about the pastel bordalo, and here it is for me to try it right now. This is so special, this lovely little pastry, which I'd not, ah, not seen before. Dropped it. Okay, I just wanted to bring it out of the packet so that you can see it. Here we go, under the camera. You can hear the rustling of the brown paper bag. Look at this. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Now, I'm not sure if it's... I thought of originally... When I just showed briefly Mrs. M, um, the packaging that it's in a it's in a kind of um, little cardboard tray that you pop it out of. Um, I think it this is like the the, the classic queijada, is that right? Uh, Portuguese pastry, but this is a special one in honor of Rafael uh, Bud, uh, Rafael Pinheiro Bordalo. Sorry, which which way have I got that right? Uh, Rafael Bordalo Pinheiro, that's right, and not, not to be confused with the artist Bordalo. Not, not the grandfather or the son, Bordalo II, um, the grandson, but uh, this man who is famous for the Kaldash ceramics, okay? The original fellow who came up with the creation of the Zay Pavinia. I'm about to try it now, so I don't want to take the wrapping off, but I am. Uh, the wrapping is coming off, and I'm about to bite into this beautiful... It's a pastry case. It's not, uh, it's not a little cardboard container, which I was confused by at first glance. It's all edible. Well, I hope so, because I'm about to find out and take a little bite out of one corner of it. Mm, kind of treacly at first, the sense of um, sweet treacliness. Mm. Mm, it's almost like British parking cake. It may be a bit of ginger in there as well. Nice and sweet and honeyed, as you as you might expect. So nice and sweet. On the interior, if you have a look at the, the consistency of the confectionery right there, isn't that beautiful? So that nice contrast of the pastry cup that it's in and the, I think, is it a queijada? I'll find out. But that I thoroughly recommend to you. That is the Pastel Bordalo. I've been here all this time in Portugal, never seen that. And you can get that from Forno de Beco, the Padre and Pastelaria, my favorite in Caldas de Reina. <laughs> 